Oh, hey, look at this article. VPN explained. VPN is a tool for cybercrime or other shady activity online. At best, it's an overly advertised gimmick. Hmm, wait a minute. Then why use a VPN at all? And why do so many people and companies use a VPN every single day? Let me explain. First off, no, a VPN is not for criminals, even if some countries ban its use. At the very basic level, it's a tool to protect your online privacy and browsing data from malicious actors or just those super annoying targeted ads. And keeping your information private is not a crime. Now, of course, criminals can also use a VPN, but that's the same logic as thinking that sneakers are for thieves because some criminals wear them. Now, VPN marketing is a whole different story. It's a bit overblown and targets people's paranoias. VPNs become the sole solution to every single problem. When you exaggerate so much, the real good reasons and question why use a VPN get lost in the noise. But I can probably say this about any marketing. Every product is your savior. So forget about marketing and let me answer your question. What is a VPN and why should I use one? The first reason I use a VPN is for online safety and privacy. You see, when I connect to the internet regularly, my information is like an open book. Threat actors or even my ISP can snoop on what I'm doing and where I am. But when I connect to a VPN server, I get a whole new IP address and all my info is encrypted. If someone now tries to intercept my connection, all they'll see is a hodgepodge of letters, symbols, and numbers. But do I need a VPN if I only use social media? Yeah. Even simple information from your account can lead to cyber attacks and serious reputational or financial losses. So it's good to have a VPN to protect you. Ultimately, I personally just don't like sharing my information with my ISP, government, or ad companies. Yeah, I'm aware that for some of you, this might sound a bit conspiracy theory-ish. And sure, maybe you don't care about ISPs or ad companies getting a hold of your data. But you, like me, probably also don't want to get hacked just for using public Wi-Fi, right? The truth is simple. Free Wi-Fi spots are convenient, but also extremely vulnerable. I don't want to be locked into solely using my home Wi-Fi forever either, though. So if I'm in an airport or want to work from a cafe, I'll go do that. But each time, I do connect to a VPN to keep my data safe. Apart from safety, there are plenty of more practical reasons to use a VPN as well. In this day and age, lots of people are working remotely, as am I, and I need to be able to connect to specific remote servers to get work files securely. That's where a VPN comes in. Your workplace or even your school might require this. It's way safer to region lock servers containing sensitive data. This brings me to my next point, content geo restrictions. BBC, Disney+, Hulu, most streaming services are guilty of restricting their content to specific locations. Since a VPN can change my virtual location, one thing leads to another and suddenly I'm watching fresh anime. I can also sift through different regions for the best price for flights or hotels. With a bit of effort, I can squeeze a lot of discounts just by switching servers. And most pro VPN tools come with abilities to block ads, so I don't need to install separate tools. In general, a VPN is very easy to set up and use. So, these are my main reasons for using a VPN daily. But for some users, the answer to the question, why use a VPN, might be motivated by more extreme needs. Like, for example, do you need to bypass censorship? Now for me, my country's laws might not be that oppressive yet, but your country's might be. If that's the case, then knowing how to use VPN could save your butt. If you're already interested in getting a VPN, I always leave special deals for my best VPN service picks in the description. But should you buy one? Or should you use one for free? It's logical. I like free things as much as you. And while some tools can be completely free, ahem, <coughs> win rar, VPN services can't. It's a service that needs to be constantly supported. So the world of free VPNs isn't that great. Take a look at this. 25 million Bean VPN user records were exposed. Or how about 21 million free Android VPN users' data on sale? There are a couple reliable free VPN options out there, and I often recommend them in my videos. But personally, they're too restrictive. Slow speeds, very limited server choices, and streaming doesn't work. For a real VPN experience, give premium VPNs a try. 
They come with even more extra features, and most of them offer a generous money-back guarantee so you can try them without taking a risk. I won't elaborate more here. For that, like the video and subscribe to the channel where you'll find full reviews and comparisons. All right, I hope I clearly explained what is VPN and why I'm going to use it in 2024. And if you think you need it, I've left discounts for the best VPN 2024. So the last thing in this VPN Explained video, what's your opinion? Do you need a VPN for your daily work? This video is simply my answer to the question, what is VPN and how does it work? Thanks for sticking around and I'll see you later.